So what is drop zone? Drop zone lives in two places. One, it's up here in the menu bar. You can see I've got nine drop areas and we'll get into that in just a second. You can also see that if I go over to this side of the screen, oh, there's a little arrow there. And if I click it, I get three circles. That's because I've configured three of the drop zones that you saw up at the top of the menu bar to also work as drop circles, which you can initiate by clicking on that little arrow over there or just dragging a file over and dragging onto one of the circles to make that action happen. And as you can see, everything's really beautifully animated. Now, what does drop zone do? It lets you drag and drop your way to all sorts of productive little tasks. And as you can see here, I have this one configured here to toaster dog, which is where I keep my files. Um, a place called the dump, which is where all my work goes during the day while I'm working on it, and then it gets sorted at the end of the day. So if I want to move something to that folder, which is a Dropbox syncing folder, I can do it there. I can set the desktop picture by just dragging and dropping uh, one of these images onto that. I can print something by dragging any file onto the printer. If I don't feel like reading, I can just say, hey, here's some text, drag some text onto the speak area, have it speak. I can send something directly to my iPhone with an application called My Phone Desktop, which we've talked about on Lifehacker before. And if you have that configured on your iPhone, you can just drag it on here and it will send the text or whatever to your iPhone. Install application. If I have an application I want to install, drag it on here. I can even drag a DMG disk image file onto this and it will take care of the whole thing for me. If I want to share some text, this will share it. I forgot what service actually shares it. Um, but you can uh, drag and drop text onto it, and then it puts the text online. You can copy the, I, th I think it actually copies the URL for you. And then, uh, and then you can share that text very easily. And then this is share with Ehab. Ehab is a friend of mine. This is a picture of him dressed as Rosie the Riveter. And if I want to share something with him, I drag it into here, and it moves it to my shared folder in Dropbox. So that's an explanation of the three I have. There are lots more. In preferences, you can see here are the ones that I have configured, and I have these three checked to go in the circle my file sharing, the dump and set desktop picture, which you can configure up to five, I believe. And if I wanted to go in and add something new, there are a lot of other ones that are built in. So I can choose to upload to Amazon S3, I can upload to Flickr, and I can do a whole bunch of other things. Move files, copy files, send a zip uh, in an email by just dragging it onto one of these things. So it's really, really very handy, but that's not all you can do. So if you go ahead and click more actions, that will give you a lot more. You can see you can extend drop zone with all these services that other people have created. There are options that will just let you drag a file into Dropbox and move it to your public folder and copy the share URL to the clipboard. You can zip files. You can create a disk image. You can uh, desktop picture, create, change your desktop picture. Obviously, I installed that one. There's SCP upload for secure FTP or SSH or whatever you want to call it. You can post to Posteris. There's it's a pretty long list. I mean, you can even do a bit.ly URL. Um, you can copy the path of a file or a folder to the terminal. There are a lot of really good things that you can get from here, um, some of which, as you've seen, I've already installed. And if you, are, if you want to do more than that, you can actually write uh, your own little drop zone thing. Every one of these is, is uh, open source. And if you go to the API documentation, you can see you can write very simple scripts in Ruby. This is just a description. And then if you want to if you want to create something else, this is a this shows you how to how to do it with Ruby. You're basically saying this is what happens when it's dragged, this is what happens when it's clicked. And it tells you how to write all this code. It's super handy. Um, the downside to drop zone is that it costs $14. That's it seems like kind of a lot when you're thinking about an application where you just drag and drop. And I had been perhaps overly critical of it initially because it's $14 and I thought that's too much um, for something where you just drag and drop, especially when they uh, when the developer makes doc drop, I can never type that, X, which is really no longer developed but still works fine on OS 10.6 and 7, even though it doesn't say it does. You can you can get this for free, and it will upload files to the following services here. So I so my 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 feeling was that this is the best quick file uploader, and it really is. But if you want to do a whole bunch of stuff that can make your workflow go a lot faster, Drop Zone is a great way to do it because you just have all these things really handy either on the side of your screen or up in here, um, and you can just go ahead grab an image. Let's say I want to. Um, 
upload it. It's going to upload it. The file transfer begins. And there my URL is now on the clipboard for sharing. And I moved spaces by accident. Um, but of course, there are other things you can do. Um, in fact, if you drag a bunch of files and hold down the option key, for example, and I wanted to share it on here, that would actually zip it. If I wanted to print, I could print. Um, and we've been all over everything you can do. But it's pretty great if you want to move things around, if you want to share easily. You just want to have an easy way to migrate your files handily from the menu bar or from the side of your screen. It's a really wonderful app. So try to overlook the $14 price tag. If this seems like something that would be good for you, it's definitely worth the money.